counting the votes from the polls that have been condemned by Ukraine, the US and EU, but supported by Russia. The two pro-Russia rebel-held Donetsk and Luhansk regions in eastern Ukraine held their parliamentary and presidential elections on Sunday. And initial results show Alexander Zakachenko, the acting head of government in Donetsk, would become the region's head. I still cannot understand the policy of the Kiev authorities, but we are always ready for a dialogue with them. We are waiting for a normal reaction from them, as we have already voiced our opinion and put up a sign. We have never refused decisions. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian military reported an intensive deployment of troops and equipment crossing the border from Russia into the east of the country. There have been reports of a large military convoy without insignia and carrying multiple rocket launchers and other weapons moving through rebel-held areas. Despite the ceasefire in September, the conflict in this region is far from over. It has intensified in recent days. Many are tired of the fighting in which at least 3,700 people have been killed since April. All of us need peace and want the war to end as soon as possible. We hope Ukraine can restore relations with Donetsk, especially the economic relations, which are in dire need of reconstruction. We will not be recognized internationally unless we have our own leadership. Now the people are voting for their own leadership. We hope the war can end soon. We want nothing but peace. Although the question of legitimacy of these elections could further increase the differences between the West and Moscow, all eyes are now on what the outcome could yield for this war-torn region. Neha Bhatnagar, BBC News.